Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install custom themes on Windows 7. This will work for the final build of Windows 7, 64-bit and 32-bit versions. So anyway, to do this, you're going to need to first patch your system for theme to enable custom themes. You're going to need to have a universal theme multi-patcher, and you're also going to need to download a custom theme that you would like. So anyway, um, just to give you an example of a theme, I am using the 7 Max Clear Live Black theme right now, where uh, if we go into the Windows Explorer, as you notice, we have clear Windows windows up here with no borders around here. We have uh, this up here is black. Uh, this down here glows black. Uh, up here at the top we have the arrows and the X with no borders around them and they look like this. And then also if we go here to the icons on our desktop, if we click on it, it hovers over to look like this. And if we go down to the taskbar down here, all the icons are transparent and translucent. And this is all done through the theme called 7 Max Clear Live Black, which is in this folder right here. As you see here, 7 Max Clear Live Black. So anyway, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to go ahead and download a universal theme patcher. Now, uh, I learned all of this from visiting a post on a website called dunksweb.com. You can go ahead and uh, view his video on how to do it here, and you can go ahead and download all of these themes here. Right here is where you can download the 7 Max Clear Live Black theme. If you go to this link right here, it'll bring i bring you up to a link right here where you can download the Universal Theme Patcher. Just go down here, and uh, I downloaded the one from link number three right here, which you can go ahead and download, and then it should come up to something here that says Universal Theme Patcher. Now go ahead and open that, and then open up this folder, and it should see something in here that says Universal Theme Patcher x64 and Universal Theme Patcher x86. Now the 64 one is for the 64-bit version of Windows 7, and the 86 one is for the 32-bit of Windows 7. To find out uh, which operating system you are, what you want to do is go to My Computer, right click on it and go to properties and then scroll down over here where it says system type and here as you see mine says 64-bit operating system which means that I'm on 64 so since I'm on 64-bit operating system I have to double click on this one here for 64-bit should prompt you up something with the user account control so right here then just go ahead and click on whatever English you want to use uh, whatever language you want to use sorry so I'm gonna go ahead and pick on English click OK and then right here it'll say Windows 7 Home Premium Edition 64-bit. The OS needs to patch three files, but as you see here, I've already patched the th three files. So to go ahead and patch the three files, just go ahead and click on Yes. And it should come up to a window that looks like this. Now right here, where it says Patch, it should, uh, it should be highlighted like this. So what you need to do is just go here and click on Patch here, Patch here, and Patch here, and then restart your system. And then your system should be enabled for custom themes. Then what you want to do is you want to have a custom theme that you want to install, since uh, I'm going to be using one called 7 Max Clear Life Black. But another way to get custom themes is to go to a website called DeviantArt.com, which I'll just go here. So, so uh, sorry for my slow typing, so just go here to DeviantArt.com, which is a great website for custom themes uh, right here. So what you want to do to find themes is you want to go down to Customization, then scroll down to Skins and Themes, then scroll down here to Windows 7 Utilities. Then it should have themes for Windows 7. What you want to do is just, uh, let me full screen here, you just want to make sure that you're clicked on all time so you can find them, and then you can go ahead and select from any of the Windows 7 themes here. And so, uh, since I'm using the theme called 7 Max Clear Live Black right here, uh, which is not available on DeviantArt, but it is available on the blog post from Dunks Web, which I uh, mentioned before, just go ahead here and click on SMCLB. Once you do that, you can go ahead and launch up the folder and launch this up and then figure out which one of the themes that you want to download. What you want to do is find which one you want to enable. I have enabled 7 Max Clear Live Black 1. Go ahead and copy that and then you want to paste it into your themes folder. Your themes folder is located in my computer into the C drive. So go into the C drive, go into the Windows folder and then scroll down to find the resources folder. Go in the resources folder and then click on themes. Then what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and paste your theme in here. So as you see here, I have 7 Max Clear Live Black 1. Then what you want to do is just double click on that and it should go ahead and launch up the themes. So as you see here in the theme window, if I scroll down here, I have 7 Max Clear Live Black Taskbar Total Arrow. Now just to go ahead and show you the differences between the Windows 7 theme, I'm going to go ahead and launch up the Windows 7 theme here, which will look like this and up here like this. Now if we go down and launch up the uh, 7 Max Clear Live Black theme, it will look like this. 
So anyway, you can go ahead and customize the theme any way you want to, but just make sure you have it pasted into your themes folder. So anyway, that is how to go ahead and enable custom themes on Windows 7. You can download any theme that you want to, and you can also uh, install them in a couple of different ways. But so far, this is the easiest way that I found to do it. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, first, I'd like to say that I found all of the information for doing this at this post by dunksweb.com, which I'll post in the video's description. I'll post all the links in the video's description. And so anyway, thanks a lot for watching. This has been How to install custom themes on Windows 7. So anyway, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.